In this video, we are going to be talking about the structure rule sets. Now, when I refer to structures, I'm talking about our manholes and mainly our catch basins. We need to ensure that the pipes flow across them evenly and, according to the city of Calgary, the depth of the sumps as well. So again, these are going to be the city of Calgary specifications for their structure rules. So let's flip over to their documents. In their design guidelines for subdivision servicing, so when a pipe enters a manhole, we need to keep that invert a specified distance from the outgoing invert to uh, promote positive fluid flow across the manhole. So the incoming invert is going to be a little bit higher than the outgoing invert, depending on the angle. So there's a, a clause here on page 166 under general manholes uh, C1D. There's at manholes where changes in pipe diameter occur, keep the elevation of the crowns of the pipes continuous. So when we change pipe diameters, we want to keep the tops of the pipe, keep the elevations instead of dropping the inverts. So inverts are bottoms of pipes, obvert is the top of the pipe. Except in the case of an acute angle, an angle of less than 90 degrees. So if you think about it as a pipe flowing in and it basically turns around and comes back out in the less than 90 degrees. We will have to conform to 150 millimeter pipe drop. <clears throat> Where no change in pipe diameter occurs, we're gonna allow a drop of 30 millimeters in a straight through manhole. So straight through the manhole, we need to drop the invert of the incoming pipe and the invert of the outgoing pipe by 30 millimeters. We have to drop at 60 millimeters in the presence of a bend which is 90 degrees or greater and 150 millimeters in the presence of a bend which is less than 90 degrees. So let's flip over to civil quickly and I'm just going to draw a quick polyline to demonstrate this. So here's our pipe coming in. If the pipe is straight through so it goes straight out the opposite end, we drop at 30 millimeters. If it, draw, if it goes between 90 and 180 degrees, so somewhere in here, I'll just draw a line here, then we drop at 0. 0 0.06 meters or 60 millimeters. Now if it makes the acute angle less than 90 degrees, so it basically flows in and turns around and comes back out in this quadrant over here, then we have to drop it 150 millimeters. So that's pipe drops across structures. We'll flip back to the design guidelines. Now that's for manholes. We're also going to be designing in catch basins. So we're gonna to flip to the sewer spec book and we have to deal with sumps and catch basins. So what's a sump? It's an additional amount of storage below the outgoing pipe in your catch basin to allow for additional rainwater and sediment to build up to be cleaned out. We do not need to put any sumps in manholes, but we do need a thousand millimeter sump or one meter in a catch basin. So let's flip over to Civil 3D and learn where to put these in. So again, open your tool space if it's not open. Under the settings tab, we're gonna scroll down to the structures, structure rule sets. So we're gonna right click and select new. And under the information tab, name it descriptively. So you wanna name everything descriptively, name it as in what you're designing. So we're gonna name this manhole rules. We're gonna to have to create one for a catch basin. So under the rules tab, we'll be adding some parameters in here. So let's add a rule. Category st storm sewer has to stay the same. We're not gonna worry about maximum pipe size check, but pipe drop across structures. So back to those 0 0.03, 0 0.06, and 0 0.15 rules, we need to drop the inverts of specific pipes a certain amount. So we're gonna click OK to add the rule into the parameter and now we can modify the values. So we want to drop the invert um, 0 0.03 minimum and maximum we want to go 0.15. Now this is just a rule to make sure your structures are conforming. You're going to have to look at your pipe sizes coming in, pipe sizes going out and the angle at which they're coming in and going out, the difference in angle to know which drop value to apply. Now you can make three rules if you wish with three different drop values, 
or we'll ju we'll just make one for this. If you want to make three, go for it. Just make sure you name it properly. Manhole rules 0 0.03 drop. The second rule we're going to add is our set sum depth. So we don't need to set a sum depth in a manhole. So we're going to leave this set to zero so we can apply the rule to it. It'll automatically bring the sump up and it won't cause us any issues. So now we're going to click OK. We've got our manhole rules. And again, you may have three in here. Let's create one more. We're going to call it catch basin rules. So how do we want to handle the catch basins? So under the rules tab, we're going to add a rule. Now this one is going to be sump depth, set sump depth. We're going to click OK. Our sub depth, we want it to set it to a meter deep. That is what our catch basins need to be. Now let's check out other rules. Maximum pipe size check. Now this is where we can use a maximum pipe size check because a catch basin lead within the city of Calgary is 250 millimeters in diameter. So we want to ensure that we have a 0.25 meter pipe coming out and only a 0.25 meter pipe coming out. So we're going to click OK and that is structure rules.